Welcome to the Price of Business TV show. Glad to be with you, talking to you about you and your business. Also want to welcome our radio audience. They're tuning in as well. Uh, always delighted to have my uh, guest on, our very first guest on the program just for today's show, Lee Kaplan with the law firm of Smicer, Kaplan, and Veselka. That's skv.com when you want to look them up online. Uh, they are great business litigation attorneys, and they always do a fine job. Lee always does a fine job when he's on the show. And he's incredibly politically savvy, and uh, there's always a lot to talk about in that category. Before the show, Lee, you were mentioning about Planned Parenthood and uh, what's happening with that. Uh, certainly got a lot of headlines, and now it seems to be becoming an interesting story as it unfolds. Welcome, Lee. Well, thank you. Uh, the word that came to mind this morning was boomerang. There are some activists in Houston, which is where I am, who have been uh, complaining that Planned Parenthood sells fetal tissue in violation of the law. Planned Parenthood has denied this. The activists have uh, gathered video, which Planned Parenthood has said was selectively edited and unfairly edited. Well, uh, our governor, Greg Abbott, who is a very strong pro-life uh, advocate, called for an investigation. There was an investigation by our local district attorney, who, by the way, is a Republican, mm -hmm. and it resulted in the grand jury not only not indicting anyone at Planned Parenthood, but instead indicting two activists for, uh, among other things, tampering with a governmental record. Now, what I've never been able to figure out in the last 24 hours, and I'm trying to figure this out, is what is the governmental record that they allegedly tampered with? And I, I just don't know, so I guess we'll hear that in the near future. But yeah. uh, uh, there's some delicious irony in this, uh, um, simply because... It's the complainers who ended up getting indicted, and by a Republican district attorney, yeah. who, by the way, has probably endangered her chances in the next Republican primary. She yeah, has I, an I'm, thinking, I'm thinking you're right about that. No question about that. Uh, that's going to become uh, problematic. And I do want to m remind the listener that there's multiple investigations going on, one on the state level, one on the uh, Houston level. The first one, the Houston one, uh, apparently uh, has not turned out very well for Planned Parenthood. The governor and the attorney general has made it clear that that will have no bearing on the state investigation. Is that correct? Well, probably not. And, and you know, it just depends on who does this. But obviously, this captures the public's attention. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, what do we think the public really believes about this? I'm sure most of the public finds the idea of abortions distasteful. Mm -hmm. I couldn't say, and I gather opinions are divided, as to whether people in the country are generally pro-choice or pro-life. To me, uh, there's just a real divide, similar to capital punishment. And um, But this is, you know, one of the first most striking uh, developments in this, in this saga, and I would say that Planned Parenthood has probably captured the high ground, at least temporarily, by this publicity. Yeah, I think you and I can both agree on one thing. This story isn't going to go away anytime soon. Right, and these activists, they, you know, one of them's a 26-year-old who I believe is someone who's married and uh, who was born after a very difficult pregnancy, and so he's somebody who has a real personal stake in this uh, because I think his his point is that he might not have been born if uh, his mother had followed uh, more conventional thinking about uh, having an abortion when her health was a little bit in danger. I don't know the, all the facts about that, but this is a guy who is single-minded, and I don't think he's going to give up. And if he does go to a trial, I expect he'll try to turn it into a, a, some sort of a, of a media frenzy so that he'll get attention. Yeah, not that he'll need much help. <laughs> I mean, right. No, no it's certainly not. Plenty of help for we that, have a won't governor he? and an attorney general who feel very strongly about this. You're right. And lieutenant governor, they're all speaking out. Lee Kaplan, he is with Smicer, Kap Kaplan and Veselka. That's skv.com. Lee, thanks so much for being with us as usual. You're welcome. Look forward to our next visit. You bet. Do you want to remind the listener that great content, uh, we have tons of content uh, that includes Lee Kaplan over there at usdailyreview.com. Excellent articles. Plus, check out Lee Kaplan. We've done some articles with him over at Huffington Post. He's always a great contribution to uh, this show. When we come back, more for you right here on this station.